everybody, Gannon here. Welcome to the first episode of the Captain's Chair. I'm uh, all suited up in my Trek jacket. I'm so ready. I've been wanting to do a Star Trek series for a minute now. Star Trek is pretty much like my life right now. It's one of my current passions. I think Star Trek has totally made my life and the way I think just improve since I've started watching it. And so yeah, I definitely want to make Star Trek a part of the channel. I like my dream is to be one of the most popular YouTube channels that covers Star Trek on the platform one day. With that being said, let's get right into it. A short one today, but I just got to get one of these out here finally. Uh, I really wanted to talk about last weekend I'm pretty sure at Destination Star Trek they revealed Admiral Picard's uniform that he wore and the one that's going to be seen in Star Trek Picard. Let's get a look of it. I'm going to put it on screen right now and first impressions this design is absolutely fucking killing it for me. I love gold accents on anything. It's one of the reasons that I appreciate the new Discovery uh, reimagined uniform so much because they have all these really nice Nice metallic and gold accents to them. The collar and everything is really sharp. The lines, everything, it just is a really cool and really professionally made uniform. It looks really good. Yep, so now you know, I absolutely love the uniform, but is he actually going to be seen wearing this uniform? Maybe in flashback. See, this isn't actually the uniform that Picard is going to be wearing in a majority of the series because Star Trek Picard actually takes place after Picard's retirement. So Star Trek Picard takes place around 20 years after Nemesis. Picard is already retired from Starfleet at this point. Huge spoiler, but we know Know that Jean-Luc Picard retired shortly after the planet of Romulus is destroyed. The date given for this uniform at the convention was apparently 2385, so we think this is about 14 or so years before the events of what is going to take place in Star Trek Picard. We also know that this isn't actually like the current uniform that admirals wear. We got a glimpse of a Starfleet admiral in the trailer wearing a kind of Deep Space Nine-esque, more traditional looking uniform. All right, now with that out of the way, I'd also like to mention Star Trek Picard is releasing January 23rd, 2020 next year. I am so fucking excited. But while I have you here and while we are talking about Star Trek Picard, I would like to, I don't know, bring something up. Aaron Eisenberg, the actor who played one of my favorite characters in all of Star Trek, Nog from Deep Space Nine, passed away a little bit over a month ago on the 21st of September. If you guys didn't know the character that he played, Nog, his dream was basically to join Starfleet and become the first Ferengi captain among its ranks. Nog was always a personal favorite character of mine because for one thing, I love the Ferengi, and then also he's a character who was always striving to become the best version of himself despite the circumstances with his family and his upbringing. I really respect Nog a lot and I actually do think Nog needs to have some sort of cameo in Star Trek Picard because it is, you know, the series that's showing us the latest into the Star Trek canon right now. We literally don't know what the fuck is going on in the current Star Trek canon and our first look at it is going to be Star Trek Picard and I expect this series to be fucking booming with references, Easter eggs, and cameos from all of our favorite characters. So I think it would be very appropriate to have Nog reappear in the story as a captain in some way. Maybe place a little Easter egg, maybe put some text somewhere, a little plaque basically giving us evidence that Nog became a captain in the canon. I think this would honor Aaron Eisenberg's memory. I think all the Star Trek fans and all the Nog fans would sleep better at night knowing that Nog is either alive and a captain in the current canon, or just the fact that we know that he became a captain. We don't we don't really need a new actor to come and play Nog. I mean, if they want to do that, that might be cool too. But if you just want to place a plaque down or something, just memorializing Nog as a character in all the fans' eyes, I think that would be fucking really cool. Anyways, what do you guys think? Um, are any of my current subscribers really big Trekkies? Let me know. I strongly recommend that if you haven't given Star Trek a chance, give it a chance. I used to think Star Trek was super nerdy and lame growing up, but after watching a couple episodes, I got into it. Um, I learned that there was this really huge cool franchise full of lore full of really cool characters and all these different parts spanning these different settings so uh yep guys just expect some more star trek content to come 
What do you think about Star Trek Picard? Are you excited for it? What do you think of the Admiral uniform? What do you think of the design? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Please leave it down in the comments. I love comments. I love discussion. If you like the video, please remember to slap a like on it. And if you enjoy the content, um, it would be extremely flattering and I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. All right, with that, guys, I'm going to go make some food and go to bed. So I'm going to have to see you in the next one.